Hey, what's up, Hunter Squad? I'm gonna show you here the battle lobby for War Wings. Uh, if you have not done it, or yeah, if you have not done it yet, check out the tutorials. Um, you can get silver just for completing the tutorial missions. So even if you already think you know how to play or whatever, just go in here and do them. You can get free silver. It's super easy. It takes just a couple of minutes to pound all those out. Um, the daily challenge is also something that's very useful. This will update three or four times per day. It is a free way to get silver and RP points and XP points for your plane. So I already did mine so I can't log in for another two hours and four minutes. But definitely come in here and check this out. Uh, it's, it's free silver. I mean, don't pass it up. If the tournament is open, you'll see here that in the middle it says League Battles. Uh, tier 4 through Tier 8 planes. So that just reiterates in the earlier video why you should not bother upgrading the Tier 3 planes because it doesn't matter until you hit at least a Tier 4 plane because that's the minimum requirement for the tournament. And then Quick Game, these are just your basic fun matches that you fight. So when you log in, it shows you all of your stats at the bottom, or your your planes that you have equipped and what equipment is on the plane that you have selected. So if I hit the Tomahawk, it only has the um, gun sight on it because that goes to all the planes. So your loadout will vary depending on what plane you pick. And you can see your weekly leaderboard and where you're at. And then also the number of games you've played and the aircraft that you've destroyed. So I've played 56 games so far under this profile and I've destroyed 293. Uh, a couple things that are useful on this particular screen. Um, if you want to play a specific type of battle, you can come here and pick either Team Deathmatch, which is just a straight aerial dogfight, or Base Defense, which is a naval bombardment. Um, so you can pick that and you can filter it specifically to one type or the other, although it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get that. There was a couple times yesterday I was clicking base defense and it kept throwing us in aerial fights. Uh, but then this globe here will allow you to change the server and so you can see which server is the best server for you based on lag time. So right now I'm on North America, which makes sense because I'm in North America. But sometimes if you are in a match and it says bad network environment, it may be helpful to come out to this site and uh, hop to a different server. Uh, so you do have the option at the top to play as yourself as an individual or to pop over here to team and you can do an element of two pilots or flight of four pilots. Uh, so we'll do element of two pilots real quick, and then you click the plus sign to invite your wingman. And you can only invite players that are on your friends list and are currently online. Uh, if you click squadron, this button right now currently is broken. It is not working like it's supposed to. It's supposed to show you people in your squadron, but it's only showing the friends list. So both of these two are doing the same. Or if you don't have anybody that's available from your friends list or your squadron, you can use the send to global channel and it will pop that into the global chat and people can join your team that way. Uh, so you'd click invite, assuming that they were there to invite, they would show up there and you guys would both click ready at the same time. A little green light will come on and then once both of them are green, you can go into the match. If you're doing a, a flight of four, it's the same thing, there's just other wingmen. The difference here is that you can't start a match with just three people, you have to have all four. So if you have three and you need that fourth person, you can send that request to Global Chat just to fill the slot. It will not automatically fill it. With flight of two, if I only have two people, the system will automatically put two other random people on the team with us. So it's not like it's going to be two against four. It's going to be still four against four in the aerial fight or the base defense. It's just those two people are on my team. 
and two other random people are also on my team. So that's basically how setting up a match works. You click on what plane you want to use and what type of team you want to play, and then you click battle and it will throw you into the lobby. And we'll do a gameplay video here in just a minute. Right now I'm going to hop back into the daily challenge just to go over some basic flight tips with you. Uh, on this particular battle, I'm going to do it again. I won't get any benefit from it because I already got the gold and silver. But I want to explain a couple things about combat and flight maneuvering. So I'm just going to hop in here real fast. Okay, so they always give you all of this nonsense up here about what you're doing and what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, shoot down the bombers, of course. Now, there are a couple... Go away. There are a couple different... Um, buttons on the screen that are useful. Of course, because this is a tutorial mission, they're gonna explain all this stuff. Alright, so for selecting or targeting a bad guy, I can click them and just tap on them on the screen like that, and that targets them. The radar screen up at the top will show their position according to me, so I can use that and the little arrow will show where they're at in accordance with me as well. Uh, the button here under the radar that looks like a recycle button, if I click that, it will show me where they're at. Somebody cover my six. So, I can see where their relationship is to me. This other button under the plane on the opposite side is a targeting help. Uh, it'll bring my guns to bear on them a little easier. So I can use both of those. Good work. Now, uh, right next to that recycle track view button, right, so I can see this one's behind me is the gun recycle heavy fire. and then over here are my throttle controls so I can slow down and I can speed up uh, if you're in a climb speed up in a climb if you're going into a tight turn and you want to make it tighter slow down this is one of the reasons I like turn okay. fighters so much Mayday. Mayday. is because I can turn slowly <laughs> and make my turn radius super tight, which allows me to outmaneuver them. Uh, a couple other things, if I swipe left or swipe right, I can do a evasive action like that. It uses energy to, in order to do that. Or if I swipe up on the screen, I can do uh, an immolent turn and then I'm heading the opposite direction, which can be useful. Um, so I'm just going to take this guy out now. So those are the basics of combat. Do not, if you're using track view to find out where they are, once you have them in your sight, don't keep it on. Just use it long enough to find them and then turn it off again. And that little reticule right there is the center of their plane. So get that lined up in your gun sights and let them have it. And then they're pretty much toast. So that's basic flying combat tips. Uh, I'll do some gameplay videos and I'll narrate what's going on with that so you can see how it goes. And of course, I didn't get any benefit from that because it was just an explanation of how things work. So now I'm back at the lobby. Uh, but that's the battle lobby and basic battle tactics for war wings. Uh, until next time, be safe, have fun.